All right, hosses, welcome back. And in this video, I am going to show you how to use template literals. So, you know, before, whenever we had some variable and we wanted to include it in a string, what we would have to do is something like this. So, let me just go ahead and log something out. So, I'll say console log. All right. So, I'm trying to say, um, like, my favorite person is Bucky because he smells good. So, my favorite person is all right so then i need like a space and then i need to do name is that right yep all right so there's no space here so i had to have another space and i'll say because he smells good all right now hopefully whenever i run this all right everything is looking good well this is kind of a pain in the butt because i mean shouldn't there be an easier way to use variables inside a string well that's what the developers of ES6 thought too. So they gave you one and it's called template literals. So the first thing that you need to do is instead of using single quotes or double quotes, anytime you want to use this new syntax, you actually use back ticks. Now this is to the left of the one on your keyboard, right above the tab, if you have the same keyboard as me. So again, I know you guys probably can't see the difference between a single quote and these back ticks on YouTube, but make sure that you are indeed using back ticks. So just like before you write my yada yada yada, all your other stuff, just like this. But whenever you want to use a bit of JavaScript, instead of having plus whatever that, all you do is this, use dollar sign, curly braces, and then whatever variable name you want right here. So isn't this a much more beautiful syntax? I think so. So same outcome, but your code is a little bit cleaner, a little bit more condensed. Now, another thing I want to point out, and I don't even know if I probably should, but I'll say this. So I'm going to say let A equals 5 and let B equals 7. Now, you can actually use JavaScript expressions in here. They aren't only limited to um, you know variables like A, B, name. You can actually do something like this. My favorite person is A plus B, and it would calculate to 12. So in other words, it would find the result of this expression and then output it into your string. Now I say you really don't want to do this because most of the time you want to separate out your logic from your formatting. In other words, you would want to make uh, some variable called result and set this equal to A plus B and then just output result right here. But for the demo, I'll keep that in there just to show you guys that any valid JavaScript you can indeed have in there, even though I wouldn't recommend it. So anyways, that is template literals, basically a way that you can include snippets of JavaScript inside strings. All right, so let me start my recorder again because I forgot to <laughs> mention something. I actually stopped the video and then I was like, oh crap, I forgot to mention something kind of important. So before, if you ever tried to kind of make a string and have it across multiple lines in JavaScript, it would be a real pain in the butt. But now all you have to do is this. Whenever you write a new line in your code in JavaScript, if I go ahead and run this little example, it'll actually interpret that as a new line. So instead of just having like plus and then adding a new line character and then writing the rest of your code and trying to concatenate them in some kind of weird way, whenever you write a new line using template literals, it's gonna interpret that as the new line character. So you see that this little string and this little string were indeed on separate lines. So there you go. That's what a template literal is. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next video.